Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Giancarlo and today we're going to take a look into the breaking news of Miley Cyrus quitting veganism because her brain wasn't functioning properly. Now it was a... just completely forgot what I was going to say. Stay tuned and let's get into it. If you haven't heard about this or seen it already, don't worry because we're going to whiz through all of the points she raises. Of course, Joe Rogan being the vegan hater he is, is absolutely loving this mate. This is like the perfect episode for him. Just to give you a bit of background history with Miley. When she was two years old, she had a very traumatic accident where her dad had Miley on a backpack as he was riding on a dirt bike. Now a tree fell, her dad managed to duck, but the tree hit Miley on the head. I had a head injury when I was, you know, two years old. What happened? <sighs> it's bad. My dad had me, this is really bad, but he can't go to jail, I don't think, because it's long enough time away he had me in a baby backpack and i was on a dirt bike with my dad and he was riding and a tree had fallen and he ducked and i didn't and i hit my head on the tree oh jesus it was bad. christ this experience has led herself to believe that this accident could have led her to some brain injury it's also important to note here that throughout her school years when she was playing hannah montana she was smoking a lot of weed and experimenting with shrooms was smoking a lot of weed How was taking you? a lot of shrooms i was 17. 17 smoking a lot of weed and taking, taking a, lot of a lot of shrooms and i started getting a little yeah. I started getting a little cray cray, you know, Don't sometimes. Don't recommend that. Even throughout her teenage years, she was taking MDMA, cocaine, and most likely other stimulants. She even says here that her biggest song to date is about dancing on MDMA and snorting lines in the bathroom. So considering the dangerous head injury that she suffered from when she was two, the chain smoking, the excessive drugs, plus the negative factors that come from being a superstar, the amount of fame and stress, it's kind of unbelievable that she has failed to relate any of this to her current brain problem right now, but yet blames it on a vegan diet when she hasn't even provided any information in regards to test results or seeking medical care. The only slight signs of this is when in the podcast she said that she's been seeing her therapist for 10 years called Dr. Daniel Amen, a doctor who specializes in neuropsychiatry and brain imaging. I saw a book that said change your brain, change your life by Dr. Daniel Amen, who's now been my therapist for 10 years. The funny thing is, is that in this article Dr. Daniel Amen wrote called Three Things All Vegans Should Know, highly recommends vegans taking an algae-based omega-3 supplement. But this whole propaganda of Miley having brain problems stems from the claim that she wasn't getting enough omega-3s in the first place. So to me, this just doesn't quite add up. You know, he is her therapist, so why has this not been brought up within the six years of being vegan? Perhaps he's not her usual doctor per se, but just, you know, more of her therapist, so they haven't really spoken about blood tests or or maybe they have, I don't know. It's just really strange that she's failed to mention any, anything clinical and is solely going off the way she feels. He even states not flax oil, which is indicating due to the low conversion rate of the body's ability to convert the long chain fatty acid, ALA, into EPA and DHA, you should go directly to a higher quality algae supplement instead. He also mentions key nutrients vegans should be aware of, and I think he even has his own protein powder called Omni, which is vegan. So he's definitely clued up about this, you know, he knows what he's talking about, but yeah, I don't know. As I said, it just seems weird that Miley has failed to mention anything clinical. Here is a great observation made by Dr. Matthew Nagra, which I found from Klaus's video from Plant Based News discussing how the small dietary change she made and the improvement she had from it screams a placebo effect as on a physiological level, it's impossible for a few meals of seafood to change your omega-3 levels, especially in the brain. This becomes even more clear when a vegan has been told that their diet is deficient by those who have clearly not seen the data. He also explains how mental and physical problems can be caused from a myriad of issues which may not always be diet related. It's a really valid point he's made and goes for everybody, you know, regardless of whether you're vegan or not. If I have a client who has recently changed their diet, you know, even like a small dietary change and is starting to feel a little bit tired or fatigued, a bit more dummy, you know, recovery isn't as fast, then we have to take an extensive look into the client's lifestyle, not just looking at the diet solely, but also past history, you know, um, external changes like, you know, work and relationships, biological changes like hormonal imbalances, stress, you know, and so on. It's really disappointing to see considering that Miley has been a figure within the vegan community for a very long time now, having millions of followers around the world who may watch this podcast and go, you know what, I've been feeling a little bit weird as well. I've been getting a little bit of brain fog, just not quite there, not as sharp. I'm gonna start eating fish again. And then we have the same problem as we have now. Consumers paying people to drag fish out of the ocean so they suffocate to death based on an anecdote they've made, which is not science. Taking a high quality algae supplement is the safest way of getting enough EPA and DHA without the toxins that come from buying fish like microplastics, 
dioxins, mercury and PCBs. I've just done a video on fish which um, I'll link at the end. It has a section in there about omega-3s and how it's a cheaper and safer option than buying fish. So check that one out if you can. To wrap this up, she later explains how she has all of these animals, so she's doing her bit, so therefore it's okay. I have 22 animals on my farm in Nashville. I've got 22 in my house in Calabasas. Like, I'm doing what I need to do for the animals. Like this just doesn't quite cut for me. You know, you wouldn't start abusing your partner and say, it's okay because I donate to a domestic abuse charity, so therefore I'm doing my bit. It's the same reason why vegetarians are still not cutting it because the egg and especially the dairy industry, has the most exploitation, enslavement, rape and murder you can possibly imagine. Saying I'm doing my bit because I have animals that I care for but then still contribute to the murder of fish is just really disingenuous. In fact, having animals that you care for should be a reason, should be more of a reason for you to not support this industry. All right, guys, that's it for now. Hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you are thinking about making that transition to a plant-based diet or, you know, you're sort of halfway there and this Miley video has put you off, please don't let it. There's always going to be misinformation spreading around the internet to create that confusion and fear. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.